we said now we will do manufacturing if you go for manufacturing or polycarbonate polycarbonate is very expensive so we tried can we use floated board because you know these boards they use for shelters uh, have you seen this uh, it's used in bus stops these are dual walled polycarbonate sheets which are there so we took the sheets and we made one uh, quick model and we found that it's not working here we realized that the efficiency model is so narrow for us that any experimentation is taking us back to the drawing board the transmittivity in this is reduced by 20% and even 20% reduction in transparency is not allowing us to go forward so that's a very big lesson for us so this uh, you know picture shows you how we tested it and we didn't work and our temperatures are as low as 60 degrees 60 degrees is just warm water not in boiling water then abhinash called for a brainstorming session there are engineers there are researchers there there are designers not working on the project will join in and when you have this group discussion there's some interesting ideas which can come up during your you know brainstorming session itself you start wor even worrying about how will you transport it how will you fix it in people's houses how will they receive the product where will they buy it from who will manufacture it what materials you will use will it be economical or not so you take care of all the aspects in your brainstorming session and map all of them together look at the type of options rigs we made for various trials then we also had this doubt will a smaller volume be better smaller box the better is the conduction and heat uh, evaluation then came the breakthrough we went to professor kedare kedare is our head of the department of energy science but here we did a mistake we went very late and professor kedare gave us some wonderful insights of what happens and we cleared all our doubts but he gave us full idea behind science behind the thermal conduction the value proposition of each material in the product we are using how conduction happens between the uh, hot plate inside the oven to the utensil having the rise so we we did all the studies and we also did thermal analysis using softwares to check out in different conditions in the country you you can create different environments you can create different temperatures we did all that and we actually came up with the parameters of the material thickness which is very critical we looked at uh, you know the cooking temperature by you know constant measurement and the volume to surface ratio was also very very critical in comparison you should understand that you are talking about cooking right so we checked up what temperatures you know for various food requirements and then here i had a very interesting encounter with a businessman in surat so i went and asked this you know person yeah mere ko a solar oven bechna hai <coughs> What do you think? He said, "Don't sell as a solar oven. Sell it as a rice cooker." See, such a good insight. If you sell as a rice cooker, everybody will buy, and nobody will complain saying the dal ni pakra. See, so smart. You are using a solar oven, so you just call it a rice cooker, and then while your rice is cooking, you can do your other cooking in a regular gas stove, and you are still saving huge amount of fuel. And in three years, you get the cost of your solar oven back. Look at these calculations. I never thought about all this. He said, "I'm going to sell it and tell them that in three years they're going to get the cost back and they're going to get good health because slow cooking is very good for health and it's tasty food." So multiple levels start coming in. So that was the realization which happened. Then you know, then we went back to the drawing board. We checked out what is happening in various you know aspects of. locations and workability we we checked out the temperatures ranging at different locations we looked at the thermal simulation results we got some very good simulations done and in the simulation we actually uh, you know got very good temperatures uh, of around you know 98 to 108 degrees then we went uh, did theoretical studies for what about temperatures we are getting in bombay what are the temperature we are getting elsewhere and we then know in 90 degrees you can cook rice 